uh, let's start by this uh, roller coaster of a ride of a film. Um, you have to hold your breath when you're watching it. So is it the same when you're filming it? <laughs> yeah, it is exactly like that. Um, well, in fact, it was, um, you know, a lot of really heavy breathing um, and sometimes feeling faint. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, it was it was intense um, physically. You know, it was incredibly intense, but um, definitely, uh, a, you know, a really memorable experience. Uh, Russell Crowe is such a good actor that he just becomes this kind of beast of a character. Um, how was it on set? Um, does he get in and out of character or, you know, he, he becomes him for a while? Well, I mean, we only, um, we hardly work together really. I mean, most of our scenes were mm -hmm. on the phone, as you could probably um, tell. Um, uh, so yeah, I think that he, he didn't stay in character, thankfully. <laughs> Thankfully, <laughs> yeah, no, it's um, yeah, none of us did actually, and and Gabriel Bateman, who plays um, my son as well, we just sort of, we were in this car for you know hours on end, um, and by the end of it, we were just goofing around and being super silly the whole time because it's sort of um, yeah, it's luckily we kind of have a similar way of working, so that was great. Does the script change in movies uh, like that because it's so emotional and adrenaline-driven? Uh, Does anything change or just the, the, the feeling of the characters get, gets morphed throughout? I think that mostly it stayed the same, but I think I know, I know that there were some adjustments just in terms of um, looking at where the character was going emotionally and just questioning some um, choice choices, I guess. And um, so, yeah, but mostly it was, um, it stayed uh, as it was when we first received the script. Um, and it's just about, yeah, finding that uh, emotional arc throughout, throughout the piece. Is, is it also difficult to, you know, merge together the physical aspect, which also, you know, informs the role and the emotional aspect, like working on two fronts all the time? Is it is it a concentration that needs uh, uh, more concentration? <laughs> yeah, it's a different it's a different kind of concentration. I'd never um, uh, done anything this this physical for this length of time, but at the same time. Um, having to have this uh you know intensity and in emotion in the emotional landscape so it was you know at the end of it I you know I literally slept for two weeks because I think I was just so um my adrenal gland I think was, was just completely depleted um so uh yeah it was it, it was a lot it was a lot <laughs> The concept of a uh, road rage is, is is mentioned in in the film. Is there such a thing, or we're just talking about the psychology of some characters and wherever you put them, they kind of behave in a certain way? Yeah, I mean, I sort of didn't realize how before taking this on how bad road rage can actually and does get. Um, but when I landed in New Orleans to um, to do my second audition with Russell Crowe, I uh, met up with Derek beforehand and he sort of mentioned you know to me that you know this is obviously like this is a real thing and, and, and it does get pretty bad and so then I of course went onto YouTube and and searched out a whole lot of videos that that you know were just terrifying and it's kind of hard to believe that um that this happens you know but at the same time I think that the film of course takes this everyday um, situation and happening and, and pushes it to its absolute extreme and, and you know it's playing on our worst nightmare of, of, of a road rage situation so yeah. Yeah hopefully you know th those yeah. extreme cases uh, come, come yeah. far and few <laughs> yeah. fingers crossed. Yeah. And the final question is what did you find most challenging uh, in this film? What was the hardest and most or most pleasant thing for you uh, to do? I think the hardest thing for me was the the heat, the heat. It was the heat. It was, um, you know, we had a thermometer in the car and it read 140 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. So, you know, and we didn't have air conditioning in some of the vehicles. And, and so it was pretty grueling. And, um, you know, you're kind of sweating constantly. And 
sometimes it means you can't see properly because of sweat like running into your eyes and you're completely dehydrated um and no matter how much water or Gatorade you drink you just can't kind of like refill that um reservoir and so I mean that was probably the physicality I think in this project was was the hardest but also kind of the most rewarding it was really cool to get to to push my body to that place and to see that oh yeah I can I can do that and actually it's fun you know so um yeah and 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 probably the the I really enjoyed working with Gabriel Bateman um who plays my son and and um you know just getting to figure out how to connect and and to make that relationship as um authentic as possible was was you know such a pleasure and um yeah we would play basketball um if we whenever we got an opportunity or just throw a ball back and forth and and um he's quite a sporty kid so it was it was it, yeah it was good fun hanging out with him sounds very sweet thanks ever so much thank you for your time have a thank lovely you. day